He uses this power to unlock his libido, bro. And look at that, man. Look at all the libido. Absolutely crazy. It's golden. It's just shooting out all over there, bro. Impressing the goddamn Dryad, man. My man didn't just get some action. He didn't even get a lot of action. He got all of it. Man out here risen up all the women. Yo, what's Gucci and Bakuchi, everyone? Remonster episode three might have to be, nah, it definitely is, the most wild episode yet. Not only was, I mean, it just good overall narrative and story-wise, but the later half, whoo, my lordy lord, bro. So, let's just get into the beginning of it, all right, man, before, you know, we talk about the spicy stuff. Our man finally leveled up into, well, you know, what he looks like in the poster art and everything, and, bro, all the women are down bad, bro, like, look at my man, absolutely built tall as hell, he probably, like, seven feet tall or some shit, dude, muscular, I, I mean, he got, like, you know, this little arm thing going on, and, uh, yeah, you know, rest in pepperoni arm, but besides that, bro, I mean, man's out here being the king that he is, bro. Being the king that he is. So, yeah, you know, as you can see, like I said, the arm, uh, you know, he got it ripped off last episode. And I was really wondering, I'm like, what the hell? Like, you know, his arm is gone. So I was wondering if he's going to, like, have it rehealed or something like that. But nah, bro, nah. But dude out here being pretty dang oblivious to all the women but when he does stuff like this you know especially with saving them treating them nicely and changing their whole perspective on goblins I, I mean you know goblins as we all know are a pretty scummy species most of the time a lot of the times but you know bro out here being the absolute w that he is i mean these two alone were getting hella jealous with everything the man was doing i, I mean bro he's you know being sweet and kind to you know all the other ladies out here man and uh, <laughs> you know a little jealousy bro i'm like how can you be so freaking oblivious? And, and you know what he even said, bro? He wasn't even a virgin in his last life, bro. So, man got some play, obviously, bro. I mean, I don't know how much play he got, but, you know, he, he was out here, I, I guess, move with the, you know, ladies as well in his past life. So, my man definitely gets quite the haul this episode. And not just, like, you know, with the ladies, but this little... I don't even know what the heck this is, but she's called the Returner. The other goblins accidentally stumbled upon her, uh, I guess you could say, uh, lair or treasury, I guess you can say. And her master was some crazy strong wizard, it seemed like. And he rested pepperoni and she was the gatekeeper of it. And of course, the humans, you know, wanting a piece of that and whatnot, they nearly killed the dang girl, and, well, she does rest in pepperoni, sadly, she asked for Gabaro's help, she asked for all the help, and, you know, my man, the myth, the legend, I was like, I got you, girl, but, you know what, he didn't even ask for it, she's like, you know what, my master really hated humans, you know, just did not like them whatsoever, so if you help me, you know, I'm, I'm begging for you here to, you know, save, uh, you know, the place and everything, I'll let you have everything. You know, I really like how he tried to solve it with peace first and, and whatnot, he didn't go in there and was like, yeah, I'm just gonna rest in pepperoni, everybody, you know what I mean, uh, screw them, I'm just gonna kill them. No, instead he's just, like, showing up, like, bro, all right, man. I know you're here for all the goodies, all the loots, but I'm gonna ask you to please get the hell out of here, bro. I want to just solve this peacefully. And, and of course, these cocky sons of bitches, uh, you know, didn't take that as an answer. So they start attacking the man. And, you know, I love how, you know, even though they seem like high power, you know, high level adventures, that's what he literally said, you know, for human standard at the very least, he's just taking all these attacks and, you know, they're literally not doing jack diddly squat to him. Bro blasted his face and like got really pissed at that point, which understandable, he was trying to, you know, settle this peacefully and telling you to hit the freaking road, but y'all won't. So... Yeah, you know, bro got pissed and, you know, absolutely freaking slaughtered these guys. Now, yeah, he didn't kill them or anything. You know, I like that at the very least, even though I wouldn't say they deserved death, but they kind of did at the same time. They damn near killed, actually, they kind of did kill the returner eventually, like, you know, she faded away. Even third level magic spells, which I don't know how powerful it is compared to, like, the rest of the world and whatnot, didn't do anything to him. And it kind of makes sense, because I really doubt that these guys are anywhere near the level of the Red Bear in the last episode. So, obviously, they're going to get their butt kicked. 
So yeah, this episode definitely had a lot of him going out hunting, absolutely destroying everything in his path, getting more freaking powers, which is a W. So, you know, he is quite strong, damn near overpowered, I would believe, because he isn't even a goblin anymore. He's an ogre. I, I don't really know if goblins can technically always turn into ogres, but he did say he's a special, like, variant or something like that. Anyways... Defeats him. He gets all the loot, bro. You know, <laughs> high level stuff, man. High level stuff. So, uh, I mean, look at that, bro. Was absolutely <laughs> out here grinding, getting all the loots, bro. You know, it's all gold and whatnot. So, it's probably selling for like millions or billions or something like that. Man, not only is leveled up like crazy, he also got like all the materials he probably needs. Then we get to a bit of the spiciness, which I will say, man, this, this view, this uh, little image right here, absolutely beautiful. I love the colors. The tree is beautiful, man. It just, like, that screenshot wallpaper worthy, in my opinion. I, I don't know about you guys. Then he goes meets these dryads who are, well, you know, let's just say a little bit down bad. They, you know, feast upon, like, you know, humans and take their powers and whatnot. I mean, look at this freaking baddie, for God's sake, bro. Like, bro, I didn't know he was, like, actually gonna get down with it. But I respect the man, dude. I respect the man. How could he deny this, bro? Like, she's... Well, not only, you know, pleasing the man, but also using some special powers to make it even more powerful and, and you know, more, uh, you know, down bad, let's just say that. Forget the word. But, yeah, like you said, he was a virgin. He wasn't a virgin in his past life, but, I mean, this time around, bro, it's time to get it on. Then he uses a freaking ability that he's never used before, and I'm just like, that is absolutely wild, bro. Uh, might just be his most powerful ability in the freaking series so far. What does he use? He uses this power to unlock his libido, bro. And look at that, man. Look at all the libido. Absolutely crazy. It's golden. It's just shooting out all over there, bro. Impressing the goddamn Dryad, man. Dude claps some cheeks, man. I I'm just gonna put it that way. I, I mean, honestly, dude absolutely got some. And they did it for five freaking hours the whole tree is going crazy holy crap and cheese man oh my god yeah this was the most wild episode bro absolutely absolutely man got freaking he got some man he got some and like i said bro at the beginning of the video he didn't get some he didn't get a lot he got all of it because afterwards bro you know the, the ladies were you know the ladies in his harem basically were all jealous because apparently he had um little hickeys on his freaking neck so all the women were jealous they obviously knew what was going on she started like you know kissing the man she's even like i'm down bad for you too i ain't gonna lie come up on him the hell man we, we want a piece of that too we want a piece of that ass man so what did the legend do what did the goat do he got it on he got it on with one two three four five six freaking women actually set up these Golden threads <laughs> get a little bit of uh, privacy and apparently soundproofed it. But, uh, you know, this guy was like, I, I don't know what's going on. And she's like, you, you don't, don't, don't even freaking think about it, dude. He, he's having the time of his life. <laughs> oh, man, dude. What a kind of crazy episode, bro. What an absolutely outrageously redonkulous episode. I knew he was gonna have the harem, obviously, because, uh, I mean, he saved these women, and he got a few of the goblin chicks, you know, what in him. But I didn't think it was gonna go to the point of, oh yeah, man, oh yeah, yeah, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <laughs> so yeah, absolutely wild episode. I already thought the first half was already freaking awesome, dude, with him defeating the humans and getting all the loot and whatnot. But, you know, then he got even better loot, bro, afterwards. And he, then he really struck gold with that one, bro. He really struck gold. And, you know, can't freaking forget a little bit of the action, which, bro, like, this show really does not mind, like, you know, showing a little bit of violence. Like, bro, absolutely just... Woo, pierced his freaking face, dude. I wonder how much more down badness we're gonna get. Green Monster has been absolutely goaded. And not just for, like, you know, him getting laid or anything. I'm not saying it's absolutely goaded because of that purely. But it but it definitely does, like, you know, add on to, like, oh, damn, bro. Damn! 
God diggity damn, you know, kind of factor. <laughs> uh, but, but yeah, overall, dude, I, I've been really enjoying Remonster. Definitely one of the best of the season. I haven't really seen much talk about it, which is kind of sad. I mean, mostly about Mushoku Tensei, Konosuba, Hibiki, Euphonium, you know, the big shows of the season, which makes sense. You know, we're going to be the most talked about, but this, you need a solid isekai. Give us a shot, man. Give us a shot. But everyone, hope you all did enjoy the video, and if you would please use code Ilya on all G Fuel orders, I'd really appreciate that. And I hope you all have a fantastic day, and I'll see y'all next time.